And now at 6, the Dallas agency responsible for transporting thousands of school children started handing out pink slips today. The much needed bus drivers will remain, but a budget imbalance to the tune of millions means other high school workers are gone. And our Steve Pickett live at the headquarters for Dallas County Schools tonight. Uh, this is an agency that your tax dollars finance, and they are looking for millions of dollars that are part of their budget that somehow they can't account for. As a result, 93 jobs are gone, and this agency has to find some way to fill that financial hole. 70,000 children a day are transported by buses operated by Dallas County Schools. Not one bus driver so far has faced a layoff notice today. But nine of the agency's sworn police officers are gone. DCS contracts school police services for Duncanville and Carrollton Farmers Branch ISDs. The agency also uses the high tech stop arm camera system on buses. And DCS cops are the traffic police looking for violators. Because of the serious financial problems of this agency, those nine police officers are part of a body of 93 employees laid off. We did take some reductions and we have restructured because I think the most important thing is to ensure that we still provide for the safety of the children. And, and we've done that. No school will be without a police officer, Lindsay says, but 50 DCS employees tied to the camera operation are no longer employees here. Now, to keep this in proper context, there are almost 3,000 employees with Dallas County Schools. Almost all of them are bus drivers, except about 700 employees. Those 93 layoffs, as we mentioned, apparently it's going to save, according to this agency, about $5 million of its one $190 million budget for this operation. Reporting live in Dallas.